Hello, in this next video we're going to cover um, the save and save as feature on the file uh, drop down menu here. These two features are almost the same but you might want to use them in different ways. Now say I have created uh, an object in the embroidery canvas. I just drew a very simple circle right here but it could be a little more complex than this and I'm creating it for the first time and you can see that it's still named, it's named something like Design 1 or Design 2 because I haven't gotten to a point yet where uh, I want to go ahead and save this as something that I might use in the future again. But now that I'm happy with where I'm at, I would want to go ahead and save my work. Kind of a rule of thumb that y'all need to remember is save early and save often. Now, there's, there is a difference between save and save as. I'm going to walk you through those and give you an example of how you would use those two different features. Now right now in this situation here, I've drawn a circle and I want to go ahead and save this work. And then I want to continue to work on the circle or continue to evolve the design and turn it into something else, but I'm not going to want to then save it. I'm going to want to save as it. I know that may sound a little confusing for you beginners, but let me walk you through this and I'll show you. So at this point right here, we've created the circle. We've made some changes to, all right, say, hold on. I've made a circle and I'm going to go ahead and uh, go into the object properties and make it a stitch type. Actually, let's do a, uh, let's just do a fancy stitch, apply it. And now we've got a circle with a little bit of a, a fancy stitch in it. Okay, now I want to save this work. So this will be the first time you save. So we'll go to the file, save. Now you'll notice there's also a hotkey for that, the control key plus the S, or an icon right here. Little, You have a little icon that looks like a floppy disk. Um, Y'all may remember what a floppy disk is. Uh, kids these days don't even know what a floppy disk is, so this is not even a recognizable uh, icon for them, the younger and younger uh, kids out there. But for us that are a little bit older, we, we still understand what this icon is. It looks like a little floppy disk, and it means save. All right, so that's what I'll use for this situation. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Then the dialog box will pop up. Now, of course, it says save as. <laughs> But we're going to save. We're going to save our work at this point right here. Now, there's different ways that you can save things. A system that I use is this. It's real simple. This is a circle design, so I'm just going to name it circle. Oop. I'm going to name it circle one, okay? And I'm going to save it. Now, if I make some edits or some changes to the circle, and I decide, hey, I want to save this as well. I'm going to just name it Circle 2. So an example of that would be, all right, we're going to change this to a different pattern. Okay. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay, and now I've changed. It's still a circle. It's still a circle design. But now, if in this situation, you just save the design, if we go up and click save or a file save, what I've done is I've resaved this as circle one and I've basically deleted my previous work. So if I close if I save and I close the project down and open it back up, circle one, this is what I'm gonna get. I'm not gonna get any other version. Remember that first version? If I hit the back button, I'll show you. I can never go back and get this again. All right. So in this situation where you've made the circle larger and changed the stitch pattern and you want to save that one too, that's a save as. So here we would go to file. Okay. If you just went and hit save, this would be a destructive change. You would destroy all of your previous work because it would save over the original circle one design. So here I'm going to do a file and a save as, and I'm going to name it circle two. And now I've got I've, I've got two different files. They all they both started from the same original work, but now I have circle one and I have circle two. 
So now I could, this one's named circle two, I could just do a open, let's see, and I could type in circle, and see there, we've got circle one, we've got circle two. Let me open circle one. Oop. Hmm. Circle one. There we go. Well, I don't know why that's not opening. That's funny. Let's do a file open recent. Circle one. There it is. I, for some reason, my program was acting just a little bit buggy there for a second. But I'll see if I minimize this. You see, I've, got, I've still got both of them here. Okay, that's really the difference between save and save as. Every time you make a change, so here's another change that I might make. This is saved to circle two, but maybe I want to do a wreathing effect, okay, to this design. And I'll just read it again. And you can see very quickly the design has changed quite a bit. And then I put, you know, as you create, you just keep creating from one thing to the next. You never know um, where your creativity is going to take you. So then, then I'll put maybe a, just an S in the middle of all that. Make it bigger. And now what you started with a circle, <laughs> but we've ended up with something completely different, something that would not be described as a circle. I don't even know what we would call this pattern, but we would definitely be doing at this point another save as, and I wouldn't even name it circle three. I would name it, you know, maybe wreath with circle and S. I like to be very descriptive in my file names when I'm naming something. I don't like to name it something short and sweet because at a later time you remember, oh, what was that design that I made back then? You might have to do a search. And the more descriptive you save something, the easier it is going to be to find that design at a later date using the search function. So you can see all of my designs I'll name um, I'll give a longer name, a descriptive name, and then hit save, and just do everything. And now I've got, if you look at re open recents, out of the one design, what I started with with one design, I've got circle one, I've got circle two, and now I'm at this point, uh, wreath with circles. But I haven't destroyed anything, I haven't saved over uh, previous work friends so then I can always go back to circle one because I use that save as function and change the name if you are using this design and we make changes and another change and another change and then you just hit the save button you've destroyed all that previous work just keep that in mind so save early save off and use the save as feature and change the name use long descriptive names so it is easy to find your work using the search function at a later date. Thanks for watching.